Hi, I'm Victoria Davis from the Healthy Home Program. You already know that the cleaning products that you can buy at the supermarket are expensive, but you might be surprised to know that some of them are extremely toxic. There are simple alternatives that you can make that are much cheaper and they can keep your home clean while keeping your family and your pets safe. We're doing a series of short films with recipes for non-toxic uh, cleaners with just three ingredients or less. Here's a short video now. Please have a look. Hi, I'm Adam for the Healthy Home Program. I'm going to show you a commercial all-purpose cleaner and then I'm going to show you how to make a non-toxic all-purpose cleaner using three ingredients including water. First we'll look at the commercial cleaner which was purchased off the shelf at a grocery store. Whenever you use a product it's important to read the label first to reduce your risk of injury and to use it properly and safely. Companies producing commercial cleaners are not required to list all the ingredients on the label. So you need to pay attention to the cleaning instructions. We found the ingredients online because they're not on the label and they include water, dipropylene glycol butyl ether, ethanolamine, loramine oxide, fragrance, alkyl dimethyl <coughs> benzyl ammonium chlorides, and alkyl dimethyl benzyl ammonium chloride, dicanol, ethanol, and C1 acid yellow number 23. The label also reads Warning, causes substantial but temporary eye injury. Do not get in eyes, on skin or on clothing. Wash thoroughly with soap and water after handling and before eating, drinking, chewing gum, or using tobacco. Prolonged or fr frequently repeated skin contact may cause allergic reactions in some individuals. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency recommends wearing gloves when using all-purpose cleaners. And the EPA reminds the user not to mix different cleaners. For example, mixing products containing bleach and ammonia can produce a poisonous gas. It is also recommended that you have good air circulation in the room by opening windows or running a fan. The EPA also notes that many of the all-purpose cleaners are highly poisonous if swallowed. Some contain sweet-smelling chemicals that attract your pets and can be poisonous to them. So now I'm going to show you how to make the non-toxic all-purpose cleaner. The tools you will need to clean are an empty spray bottle, a measuring cup, and a tablespoon. You will need two ingredients, the liquid soap, liquid Castile soap such as Dr. Bronner's or Vermont soap. Um, it can be purchased in many co-ops and health food stores and it's the most expensive ingredient we're going to use but you only need a little bit so it goes a long way. So you start with a clean empty spray bottle. And then you use your funnel to mix one tablespoon of liquid soap. You then add the one cup of water and you want to do it before the vinegar so that it doesn't clump. And then you, you add two-thirds of a cup of the white vinegar, which vinegar is a natural disinfectant. And that's all you have to add. If you prefer a scented soap, you can add an essential oil that's a scent that you like, um, or you can buy pre-scented Castile soaps. So the commercial cleaner costs three dollars and twenty-nine cents, and this costs sixty-four cents for the same quantity. And you just spray and use it just like you would the commercial cleaner. From the Healthy Home Program, clean safe and save.